my airplane. I'm going to ask Brother Anthony if they'll wipe the Jeremy up here so they can do a little Come sit there. We're not going to get away. She said, I'm going to let Brother Anthony do the talking for me. But they want to see who you are, Sister Stephanie. That's Sister, that's Sister Stephanie and Brother Anthony from Elizabeth City, Carol, North Carolina. Um, we're going to allow Brother Anthony to share his testimony along with Sister Stephanie on how they came by this way, how they came back with BBN. You can come right here, Brother Anthony. Man. You are, man. This is Stephanie. Good morning and happy Sabbath, Saints. Come closer to the camera. Let's bow our heads just for a moment of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for blessing us here safely today. Bless all that are here in attendance, those that are watching on social media, Facebook, and YouTube. Lord, I pray that the words of my mouth be used to uplift, praise, and glorify you as I share with my brothers and sisters here in the Bahamas how we came to be here today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. Okay, saints, it's, it's a blessing to be able to stand before you today and to look into your faces and not just through the TV screen, but to actually see you live. Amen. Yes. It was a, a, a nice flight, a nice journey here. And to get on with my uh, witnessing, my journey with the Seventh-day Adventist Church started in 1991. I was in the local church there in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. I served with them, worshiped with them. And along the way, we're going to fast forward it about 15 years. and. I started to go on another journey, such as Jacob did. And it wasn't a pleasant journey. It led me away from the Lord, a loving Jesus that died on the cross for us and has done so much for us. Uh, I just did not follow the path as I should have. And I got into a place where it was darker than where I'd ever been before. So I learned to always stay with Christ because when you leave his side, things can get very, very dreary. So it just so happened when I reached rock bottom and felt like I couldn't go any further down, I prayed to the Lord, Lord, if you will just take me back, I will serve you and I will not leave your side again. He heard my cry. I had gotten to the point where before this prayer, I was listening to all types of music and it wasn't fulfilling. It wasn't fulfilling at all. So I met my now wife at work and we had a couple of things going on at the time and it brought me to seek Christ's face. So we have a station back in the U.S. that's BBN. It's the Bible Broadcasting Network. And we have this little device called Alexa. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. And, you know, I would go into the office and I would say, Alexa, play BBN. And it wouldn't play the BBN that I was used to listening to because I noticed the music was different. And then on one occasion, I heard Pastor Brooks. Now I'm familiar with Pastor Brooks uh, very well, very well acquainted with him when he was pastoring. And you know, this went on for a couple of days and then you know, I got to wonder, this is, this is not the Bible Broadcasting Network. And then I heard Brother Paul come on and Bible based network. So I told my wife, I said, this is a Seventh-day Adventist ministry. I said, this is what I'm looking for. Amen. And then with the, the messages that I heard Brother Paul bring forth, I'm like, this is present truth. Amen. 
Now, I've been accustomed to present truth during the Revelation seminars and, you know, when special speakers come in. But other than that, it was just the truth. But we're living in a day where we need present truth. We need to hear what does say the Lord for our time. And this program, BBN, Nassau, Bahamas, provided me with that information and encouraged me to study more in God's word. So I prayed that one day we would be able to come here and meet our brothers and sisters face to face. You know, Brother Paul would always say that, you know, if I don't see you here, I'll meet you on the other side. And then COVID came. And with COVID, I was stricken pretty hard with that back last January of 2022. And of all the churches that I attended over in the States, I had no one to call and check on to see how we were doing. Brother Paul once again stepped in and was faithful. Faithful. And I cannot begin to tell you how much his witness and his concern and care for us led us here to be a part of your congregation. And it's through his love and concern for us and his straight truth, as he calls with no clothes on, um, has brought us here today. And there is nowhere else that we would rather be a member with than you all. And once again, it is such a pleasure to be here before you today and to tell my story of how I came to be at the Bible Based Network, BBN. All right. Sister Stephanie, oh. you'd like to say something? <laughs> well, at least a good morning. At least a good hello. Say good morning. No, you got to stand in the mic. We got to let you get away. <laughs> good morning. Happy Sabbath. <laughs> Thank, right. you, thank, you, thank you, Brother. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you.